Hello everybody, Dokkan Assets here. Today we are back with actually a different type of video. There's no figure on the screen, but I'm sure you can hear me messing with something off camera. That's right. We may have a, a little bit of a different video for you today. That's right. We're going to be opening up some bootleg Dragon Ball cards. Now, let me give you a little bit of a context before we actually get into opening these packs. Recently, I went to ASIN 2022. I had a fantastic time at the convention, but of course, as always with these conventions, they have all kinds of different trading card booths, and at this one particular trading card booth, the guy was super nice. They had a bunch of different types of cards. They had a bunch of different Japanese cards. They had some One Piece stuff. They had some Weiss Schwartz, Pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh, basically anything that you could imagine. And, of course, when it comes to things like this, it caught my eye. And the guy actually allowed me to take a picture of the boxes that these came in as well. He thought that they were official. Um, I think it was probably just that they were given to him because everything else on his table was perfectly legitimate. And these are basically just art cards. So it's not like even if you're buying these, you're really getting scammed because they were four bucks a pop, right? which is the average price for a booster pack, even though I think that these are only five cards in there and usually a $4 booster pack is, uh, you know, obviously like 10 cards in it. But basically, these cards are interesting because as you can see from the pictures that I was allowed to take, thank you, by the way, to the vendor. I appreciate that you allowed me to do that. And I know that the pictures are kind of eh, but obviously I was trying to be quick. He had other people that he needed to talk to as well and make some sales. There's no con art on here. <laughs> and there is Legends art on here as well. Uh, very, very strange. So I cannot wait to hop into these. I don't know if these cards are going to look more similar to what's on the box because honestly I've seen bootleg products that look like what they're in the box and then what it says in the box looks nothing like the card so maybe they'll look like that I know I do actually have um, some custom made Dokkan cards these were from one of the homies on twitter.com that I've done a couple of collaboration giveaways with. Uh, he makes great stuff. Obviously, these are super crazy shiny. Um, I really, really like these. Basically, the first giveaway we did together, he was like, do you want a copy of all of them? And I was like, I mean, you didn't have to, but like, sure. <laughs> so I don't know if they're going to look something like that or what they're going to look like. Obviously, we have two different types of packs here. And I probably won't do videos like this too crazy often, but obviously, I figured this was kind of a special occasion something I don't get to do too often so why not crack into it and see what we can get um, obviously before we even hop in there are a few things to notice about the actual pack art of course with this pack right this is just a standard render of Goku I actually have this render on a hoodie funny enough and that's fighters Vegeta right there that's just the fighters blue Vegeta render that's an old maybe Budokai render but this is just Xenoverse Goku <laughs> So already pretty goofy. The packs do look pretty cool. The pack with blue Vegeta, um, that's the official Super Saiyan 3 Goku uh, resin statue. And I have no idea what this other stuff is. A necklace and a backpack. I don't know how that correlates to the cards. Um, there you can see the Japanese text. Very, very interesting. And then on the back of this one... <laughs> This is the old, um, oh my gosh, what is the name of this line? Um, holy cow, it's escaping. This isn't Figuart Zero, I don't think. I'm forgetting the name of this line, but this is a pretty old Dragon Ball figure line. I would love to get my hands on some of these, but these figures have been faked um, to high heck by this point. But yeah, very interesting that they have figures on them. So we're going to go ahead and open up the Fighters Vegeta pack, and then we'll open up the Xenoverse pack, and then we'll kind of swap in between them. So I hope you guys enjoy this type of video. Again, I know that this is sort of like a out of the blue type of thing and again I won't do this very often but I just wanted to kind of try something else on the channel see if you guys would enjoy this sort of thing I always enjoy taking a look at bootleg Dragon Ball merchandise and especially when it comes to trading cards I'm all for it this pack looks insane okay so before we even take a look at the cards we'll put them right there <laughs> look at this packaging whoa avert your eyes 
Oh my gosh, this is also very thick. Like, these packs didn't feel that thick, but this, like, material, really thick. Very weird material. All right, let's just chuck that over there, and let's see what we have. Dragon Ball Heroes! I don't know if that's accurate. All right, so let's take a look at this thing before we flip it over. So we have... Again, the statue and this merch. I don't know if this is saying you can buy this from this company. Isn't that... Is that... Correct me if I'm wrong. Is that the Dokkan Summon Animation Shinron? I don't know if it'll focus on that. I think it's just so low quality that it won't. Um. Oh. And it just has a Dragon Ball on it. Okay. I mean, that's kind of cool. But, like, what's the purpose? I see Blue Goku. Let's just flip these around and see what we have. Okay. So we have Tien. I think this is from a Budokai game? Something like that. Very shiny. Holy cow. Um, okay, so we have Master Shen. Is it just the same render on the back? Yeah, it's the same render. Okay. So we have Master Shen. Definitely from another like completely different art style here. Very cool looking though. I love the rainbow on these cards. These are crazy. Okay. <laughs> We have Jackie Chun. Again, I'm basically going into these blind, you know, besides, like, what the box said. If the box is even correct. This looks really sick, though, I will say. These do look pretty cool. Um, <laughs> okay, so, uh, we have Fighters. This literally looks like a screenshot from, like, the Fighters trailer, but they, like holographed it it looks good like i'm not saying that this looks bad i don't know if there's an actual game that you can play with these but i mean you know it has the crazy shine on it so that's pretty neat and what do we have is oh that's the last card it's just that thick okay and then yeah blue goku so wait you only get four cards right you get four sorry by the way if you can hear the rain outside it just started downpouring where i'm at it's been raining all day Sorry, just as I was saying that it's kind of a ripoff that you get one, like, goofy Dragon Ball and then these character cards, my camera literally cut out. <laughs> they know, bro. They know. I want to see what this looks like with the ring light on. Obviously, I'm not turning the ring light on because for a lot of these cards, right, you'll just be able to see the ring light in there and it kind of makes them look not like how they actually do in real life. That's the only unfortunate thing about this setup with card unboxings, but still looks pretty crazy cool anyway. All right, so let's go ahead and open up this Xenoverse pack here. Um, so far, I, I mean, I guess that was worth four bucks. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I would like beg to differ on that, but I mean, it was pretty cool. I think the Xenoverse packs, if I'm remembering which box I was looking at, might be the cooler ones. Like, I'm really hoping that we get some of that, like, no! Is it the same thing? I did not mean to rip the pack like that. Whoops, I'll have to be more careful on the next one. Is it the same? Okay, well, let's just go from the front then. Eat it. Why would they package it differently then? What's the point? That art also looks really familiar, or at least that, like, art style. I've definitely seen that art style somewhere before. Hello, by the way. Very cool, though. I don't know where I recognize it from. Oh! Ooh! Wow! Okay. That's sick. That, I think, is an official render, if memory serves, but... Wow, that is a really sick card. Again, just from the perspective of, like, they look cool, you know? Wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> okay, so let me show you the back. First of all, it's just black and white. That actually looks sick, though. I'm not gonna lie. Let's put this on our other pile here. Oh, what does the back of Frieza look like? Okay, so it is, like, just his render here. This is just our Goten. And I think this is flipped as well. Is this not, like, the wrong way? I mean, I think this is more of, like, a stylized version of our Goten, but this is definitely our Goten. Interesting. All right, so these cards are all silver. Ooh! Yeah, okay, well, we're definitely seeing some Dokkan right now. So there's the back of that card, but that would be um, AGL Cell. I believe this is the SR that awakens into an SSR in Dokkan. If memory serves, this card is crazy. Look at all the rainbow back there. Holy moly! Alright. My boy Cell and Frieza is our last card. 
I don't know what order these are in because the other ones like the quote-unquote best card was in the back but then for this one it was like the second to last that's really crazy looking though holy cow yeah that is definitely like that one might be a little bit stylized too kind of hard to tell but yeah there you can really see the ring light holy cow but that is definitely just ripped right out of dokkan wow okay all right our second and last um <laughs> blue vegeta fighters pack i guess these are so weird bro like i really want to do a little bit more research about these or if the comments know anything you know definitely fill me in again like i said i literally just saw them at the convention and was like yeah these would make a good video <laughs> All right, so we have our same card again. Do we? Oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Hold on. Okay, okay. We get. Don't get too excited. This is the one star ball card, so it is cool that we're at least getting different Dragon Balls. I guess the nice thing about getting the Xenoverse ones is that you don't get gypped out of a character by uh, getting a Dragon Ball in there instead. All right, so we have Kami. That is literally just like a manga panel, ripped right out of the manga for sure. And it's just straight a manga panel right there. I'm really excited about that Trunks if it's literally just going to be the Dokkan art. I was praying we would get some like, you know, Dokkan art that's like a little bit crazier, you know. Or I did see Legends art in there too. I'm kind of surprised. Um, obviously on the back of that one box or on the side of the box rather, it was literally Shalot versus Goku. So, you know, they just be stealing whatever. Popo, that also looks like it's from another Dragon Ball game. That, like, looks vaguely familiar. Oh, man, there he is! Here's the Popo real quick. I don't know why they made the back green, but... Whoo! Look at that, Trunks! Wow, that might be the thumbnail right there. Hold on, can I, like... Can I position this in a way that it'll focus well? I don't know, but that's sick. That is such a cool card. That is really awesome, and I love the way that the hollow pattern is. I will say, funny enough, the guy at the booth did tell me that, like, these are art cards. And he was like, most people who have bought these have told me they like these. And I will say, obviously, I don't support companies making profit off of just selling, you know, like, bootleg merchandise of other people's work. But these are pretty cool. Like, these are definitely worth the four bucks, I would say, just to, you know, have a crack at some of these cards. I'd be interested to open up a full box. Granted, like, I don't know, at that rate, if I was going to pay, like, a hundred plus for, like, an actual booster box or something, I would just rather get the official Dragon Ball Super card game because, like, at least with that, at least those cards have some, like, value, I suppose. I mean... You could probably sell these, but you would have to find, like, a very... Oh, I destroyed the Xenoverse packs. Oopsie. Uh, at least I kind of, like, kept the pack art intact, sort of. <laughs> Alright, that one's going over there. Okay, that's just Dokkan art that I see. By the way, speaking of Super Dragon Ball Heroes... Um, where did I put it? Your boy did actually cop this at the convention. That's right, a Realm of God sealed booster box... So, if you guys would like me to open this for an upcoming video, definitely let me know. I would love to. I've opened up a couple singles of this, like from GameStop before, um, of this particular set. And I know that this set also has a super expensive Vegeta card in it as well, uh, that I would absolutely love to get my hands on. So, if you want to see me open up some DBS card game, let me know. I would love to do that on this channel. I won't do it often, but, you know, once in a blue moon for, for a good time. We have Popo again. I think that that's a dupe, unfortunately. Um, we have another Shinron. Okay, so maybe this is this, like, pack's equivalent of the Dragon Ball. Did this pack... Was our Dragon card... No, it was a different Dragon Ball. Okay. So, yeah. So, that's, like, the equivalent for this. This looks so much cooler than the other one. Yeah, the Xenoverse packs are definitely a way to go. Though, to be fair, I guess we did just get the Trunks one out of the other one. But, yeah. We got the six star ball in the pack that had the AGL cell um, card art. We have Frieza again. This is another dupe. This pack is looking like lots of duplicates. I can't believe I got dupes, all things good. <laughs> oh, 
Hold on a second. Wait a minute. Oh my gosh, there's so much going on. There's like five different holo patterns happening at one time. What am I even looking at here? There's like, okay, so there's like the square pattern in the back. There's like the holographic on the card effect. And there's like glossiness over it. And cells like orange bits shine as well. This is insane. Obviously, this is just STR cell from Dokkan. Um, wow. That's wild. I'm assuming that's probably our best card. Yeah, this is also a card from Dokkan. And it's flipped. The art is flipped for this. That's so strange. Why flip it? I don't get it. That's really weird. Well, either way, yeah, definitely I think our big hits here uh, are absolutely this cell. Because that's like, you know, undeniably Dokkan art. Like, they didn't even try to hide it. Didn't bother to hide it. Dokkan art. Dokkan art. And uh, I think for sure the trunks. And maybe the cell too. But I think that the trunks and the semi-perfect cell are definitely our coolest hits for today but thank you guys so much for watching this video definitely let me know what you think of these cards i'm kind of sad that there wasn't like literally any legends art at all especially considering that it was advertised we even got fighters art and we didn't even get legends art but i'm so glad that at least um we got some dokkan art in here funny enough that it's cell saga and we're sort of just wrapping up on all this cell saga stuff here in dokkan but thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it again let me know if you guys would like to see more stuff like this in the future i love doing bootleg dragon ball stuff like this so it's always fun to mix it up a little bit as well thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you in the next one dokkan assets out peace